Diamonds are forever. Uh, maybe, it depends on what you mean by forever. Theorems. Theorems are forever and ever. Take Pythagoras' theorem. That is true even if Pythagoras himself is dead. Whenever there are two nice legs on the right angle and a good hypotenuse, Pythagoras' theorems will work. We mathematicians do theorems, eternal truths. Uh, but it's not always easy to know what is a theorem and what is just a conjecture. We need an actual proof. Imagine we have an infinite field, a plane, that we want to cover with identical pieces without leaving gaps. We can use squares, we can use triangles, sorry, we cannot use circles, they leave gaps. What is the best piece to use? The one that covers a given surface with the smallest boundary. Papus of Alexandria, in year 300, said the best thing was to use hexagons, like bees do. But he couldn't prove it. It was just a conjecture, the honeycomb conjecture. Then the world divided between papists and anti-papists until 1,700 years later, Thomas Hayes gave the actual proof that Papus and the bees were right. And this became a theorem, the honeycomb theorem, that will last forever and ever, more than any diamond. But what if we go to three dimensions? What's the, the way to fill the space with equal identical pieces without leaving gaps? We can use cubes. Sorry, we cannot use spheres. They leave gaps. What's the best piece to use? Lord Kelvin, more than 100 years ago, the degree Kelvin guy, he said that the best thing was to use a uh, truncated octahedron. Like, as everybody knows, is this piece here. But he couldn't prove it. It was just a conjecture, Kelvin's conjecture. The world then divided between Kelvinists and anti-Kelvinists. Until 100 years later, Warian Felon. Warian Felon found a better structure. This little pretty thing here, to which they gave the groundbreaking name of Warian Felon structure. <laughs> uh, it looks strange, but it's not that strange, it's also found in nature. It is, uh, it's funny that it was used to construct the aquatic center in the Olympic Games in Beijing. There, Michael Phelps won eight gold medals, becoming the best swimmer of all time. Of all time until a better one shows up, like happens to the very different structure. But this one has the chance that someone, maybe in 100 years, maybe in 1,700 years, gives the actual proof that this is the best possible piece, and it will become a theorem. People in discrete geometry work in this program. Some try to find the actual proof. Some try to find a better piece. So, if you want to tell someone that you love them forever, give them a diamond. But if you want to tell them that you love them forever and ever, give them a theorem. <laughs> but you'll have to prove it. Don't let your love be just a conjecture. <laughs>